Picture this. The sun is dipping below the horizon, the pasture is calm, and your horse grazes quietly. Suddenly, without warning, the horse lifts its head, ears pricked, nostrils wide, eyes scanning the horizon. Minutes later, a gust of wind shakes the trees and thunder growls in the distance. Your horse knew before you did. Horses have always been remarkable forecasters of weather. Their reactions to approaching storms written into their instincts through millions of years of evolution. In today's video, we'll uncover exactly how horses react to the arrival of a storm, why some stay calm while others panic, and what this means for humans who live and work alongside them. And stay with me until the end because we'll reveal one surprising insight. Why horses sometimes mirror your emotions during a storm and how you can use that to help them stay safe. Before we get started, hit subscribe to Inside Horses. It helps this channel grow and encourages us to keep producing unique stories like this one. And in the comments, tell us, what's the most unusual way you've seen a horse react to a storm? Long before humans built barns and weather radars, horses roamed vast grasslands where storms could bring sudden floods, lightning strikes, or even attract predators that use the chaos as cover. Survival depended on reading the environment quickly. Heard that sense storms early could move to higher ground or find shelter. Over generations, those instincts were sharpened. Today, even domesticated horses living in the safety of stables and pastures still carry those ancient reflexes. Ethologists, scientists who study animal behavior, have observed wild mustangs in the American West gathering close and shifting direction hours before storms rolled across the plains. Cowboys of the 19th century often said, watch your horse and you'll know the weather. And Native American tribes believed that horses had a spiritual link to the sky, their restlessness a message from the spirits of wind and thunder. Whether through science or folklore, one truth remains. Horses anticipate storms better than we do. But how exactly do they do it? The key lies in their biology. Horses are highly sensitive to barometric pressure changes. As a storm front approaches, pressure in the atmosphere drops. Humans may feel it faintly, perhaps as a headache or joint stiffness, but horses detect it more acutely, likely through specialized structures in their inner ear that balance pressure. Add to this their extraordinary hearing. Horses can catch low-frequency rumbles of thunder from miles away, long before humans notice. Their wide field of vision allows them to pick up distant flashes of lightning, even in peripheral sight, while their sense of smell can detect ozone, the sharp scent in the air before rain. Put together, these abilities create a sensory alarm system that alerts horses long before the first raindrop falls. To us, a sudden bolt of lightning might seem unexpected. To a horse, the storm has been coming for quite some time. One of the most fascinating responses to storms is how herds behave collectively. In open pastures, horses often gather tightly shoulder to shoulder with younger members protected at the center. Dominant females frequently take positions near the front, while stallions patrol the edges alert to threats. In some cases, horses will begin running short bursts around the pasture, as if rehearsing escape routes. This behavior isn't chaos. It's organization rooted in instinct. Even in stables, domestic horses echo these patterns. Some pace in their stalls, neigh loudly to call out to other horses or kick at walls. Observers in ranches across the Midwest note that during tornado season, horses often group along fence lines restless until the storm passes. These herd responses are ancient survival codes, reminding us that despite centuries of domestication, the horse's wild ancestry is never far away. Yet not all horses react the same way. Some stand calmly, ears flicking at each thunderclap, showing little more than mild alertness. Others sweat, paw, rear, or even bolt when storms approach. Why the difference? Scientists believe it comes down to both genetics and experience. Horses bred in rugged environments exposed to frequent weather extremes often inherit calmer temperaments. 
Meanwhile, horses raised in sheltered or controlled conditions may find storms overwhelming. Past experiences also shape reactions. A horse that once endured a terrifying storm, perhaps trapped outside near lightning or injured during high winds, may develop anticipatory anxiety, reacting long before the storm fully arrives. Handlers sometimes misinterpret this as bad behavior, but in reality, it's learned survival memory. Just as humans may fear storms after traumatic experiences, horses carry those imprints in their reactions. During storms, the horse's sensory world lights up. Their hearing picks up thunders, rolling bass long before ours. Their sharp vision locks onto sudden flashes of lightning, often making them flinch even when distant. Their nostrils flare at the scent of ozone, causing snorts or sharp breaths. Observers note that horses often raise their heads high, ears swiveling, scanning every corner of the landscape. These aren't random movements. They're a sophisticated environmental scan. To us, a horse that refuses to settle may look stubborn. But in reality, it is processing a flood of data. Sound, sight, scent, and pressure changes all screaming the same message. Something is coming. Recognizing these behaviors as signals rather than defiance helps humans respond with empathy rather than frustration. Throughout history, horses have been weather sentinels. In the American Civil War, cavalry officers noted that their mounts grew uneasy hours before heavy rains or storms disrupted battles. Farmers in rural America often relied on their horses to predict shifts in weather patterns better than early instruments. Cowboys on cattle drives said their horses bunched tightly just before thunderstorms hit, sometimes saving the herd by moving to safer ground. Even today, ranchers in Tornado Alley claim they trust their horses' behavior more than the local forecast. These stories passed down through generations highlight a timeless truth. The horse has always been humanity's weather partner, warning us of dangers we cannot see. So what should modern horse owners and riders take from all this? First, recognize the early signs. Restlessness, head tossing, vocalization, grouping behavior. These are not quirks, they are warnings. Second, know your horse. Some are calmer in stables, comforted by walls and familiar surroundings. Others feel safer outside where they can see and move freely. Pay attention to individual preferences. Third, prepare your environment. Secure loose objects that could spook horses in high winds, check fences, and provide safe shelter options. And here's the most important insight. Horses often mirror the emotional energy of their handlers. If you remain calm, consistent, and reassuring, many horses will take cues from you, softening their own anxiety. In storms, your presence matters more than you might realize. In the end, storms remind us that horses are creatures of both instinct and intelligence. Their reactions, whether huddling, pacing, or bolting, are echoes of survival strategies honed over millennia. But storms also remind us of the unique bond we share. Because when the thunder roars and the wind howls, horses don't just trust their instincts, they often trust us. That bond is a responsibility, but also a privilege. If you enjoyed today's video, give a like, share it with friends who love horses, and don't forget to subscribe to Inside Horses for more deep dives into the science, history, and behavior of these incredible animals. And in the comments, tell us, does your horse predict storms better than your weather app? Your story could inspire our next video.